Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard's Roost. I am Buzzard. I thought today I'd show you how I make colloidic silver. How I store it. Uh, disclaimer here, this is not to override what a doctor may have told you or prescribed you. This is use and make at your own risk. This is what I do, this is what how I use it. With that being said, go through everything here. This is what the kids call super water. That'll be for another video. But distilled water works. You don't want to use tap water because the minerals and stuff in tap water, so you want at least to use distilled water. This is my current battery pack, three nine volts. This is what I started out with. These are nine volt connectors with uh, alligator clips on it, which uh, old timers sometimes used to call roach clips. Why we called it that back then, I don't know. Bottles to store it in. You wanna store it in a dark colored bottle. I also store it in the cabinet to keep even more light because light degrades this colloidic silver. You gotta have pure silver wire as in like 999.99 pure silver wire this is 10 gauge wire I bought it over 10 years ago I bought two foot of it I cut it in four to six inch lengths I hooked the top so it'll set on the glass inside the glass I have been using these two wires here for over 10 years now, so they will last a very long time. Okay, with that all being done, this is how I made it. This is how I used to make it. I take three 9-volt batteries. The Where I read on the internet, they said that 30 volts was ideal. Three 9-volts in series will equal 27 volts, which is pretty close. hook them up like that. I usually run a piece of tape around it to hold them together better. The connectors, you want to hook the black to the negative side. Red to positive. Get a cup to set it on so it'll be high enough. Take your water. Put your glass up. Hang your wires inside. Uh, another note, do not let these silver wires touch. They can weld themselves together, which creates a dead short and could cause a battery to explode. Now where I read it said that for each minute that these are hooked up to electricity creates one part per million. I run it about 10. Um, if I'm feeling a little sick or something, I may run it up to 15 minutes, which is equal to approximately 15 parts per million. Anyway, when your time's up, all you do is just disconnect it and pour it in your bottles. That's the way I used to make it back in about 2003. Now, I make it with this. This is five six volt batteries wired in series. Uh, just a simple box to put them in, run a screw in there to hold my my connector, my uh, alligator clips. Do the same thing. You just hook it up. Anyway, one of the reasons I w went to back or went to the five six volts is because it equals thirty volts when wired in series. 
these are the same batteries that people use in game cams and stuff. They make a solar panel that in a long-term shift situation, you can use the six volt solar panel to charge them. Uh, I may charge them once a year. That's the most I've ever had to charge them. And that's the way I make it now. On a side note here, our heifer is now officially a cow. She had a calf about two hours ago. The calf and mama's doing fine. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'll go out and check on them again. I am buzzard. See ya.